Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to basically do some construction, geometrical construction. I'm going to do some three numbers. I'll be doing that number, then I'll be doing that one. I'll also be doing that coming up. So now when we are dealing with geometrical construction, geometrical construction problems is that we're supposed to always first draw a sketch. Now, here is my assumption as we do these numbers that even as you're doing these numbers, I expect you to be very, very well conversant or very comfortable with constructing angles. You know, you know how to use a ruler and a pair of compasses only to construct angles like 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 45 degrees, 75 degrees. I expect also that you are very comfortable with the idea of bisecting a line and bisecting an angle. I also assume that you are comfortable with how we inscribe a circle in a triangle and also how we circumscribe a circle onto a triangle. Those are more like the prerequisite skills or knowledge that you need before you start doing these kinds of numbers. Those are like the foundational things that we use when we are trying to do these kinds of numbers. So right now, let's get started with the very first one. We have this very first number here. It is telling us that using a ruler and a pair of compasses only construct a quadrilateral. Of course, a quadrilateral is a four-sided figure. So a quadrilateral PXYQ such that PX is 9.9 .9 centimeters, QX is 10.2 centimeters, and angle QPZ is 75 degrees. So the first thing we are going to do is to summarize this question using a sketch. Then it is from the sketch that we are going to go ahead and construct the actual diagram. We will begin by drawing a sketch. So we shall start this way. We shall say sketch. And then we shall try and do summarize the, the, the question. So the question says that uh, construct a quadrilateral PXYQ. So it's a four sided figure. You see, when you're drawing your sketch, it doesn't matter. You don't, don't, take care, don't worry so much about the shape. It's a sketch, so it's PQRS. As long as you know it's just a four-sided figure, that's it. It's PQRS. So using a ruler and a pair of compasses, only construct a quadrilateral PXYQ. It's PXYQ. It is PX. Yes, we follow that order. It's PXYQ. It's PXY. I had made some mistakes there. Sorry. PXY, then Q. I even don't know where I was getting these other letters from. You know, maybe PQRIS is a very common thing. So it is a quadrilateral PXYQ, which is PXYQ. Yes, like that. PXYQ, such that PX is 9.9 .9 centimeters. So PX here is 9.9 .9 centimeters. Then QX is 10.2 centimeters. So QX, this distance right here. QX, the question says, is 10.2 centimeters. QPX. This is supposed to be X. Angle QPX is 75 degrees. So angle QPX, this right here, is 75 degrees. And the question continues to say that QY is 10.4 centimeters. So from Q to Y, it is 10.4 centimeters. And PQ is parallel to XY. So this PQ here, you're seeing, is supposed to be parallel to this line x y so construct we're going to first construct this so this is our sketch we have extrapolated all this information and we have put it in our sketch and now we're going to use our sketch as a basis to construct the actual diagram here and take note the question tells us to use only a ruler and a pair of compasses only so no using a protractor so let's get to constructing the actual diagram So if that is our sketch, so here is our actual diagram. So we'll begin with um, PX is 9 centimeters. So I'm going to get my ruler right there and my pair of compasses. I'm going to get to my ruler and measure off and first draw this line, our uh, line PX. So I'll come here and draw the line PX right there like that. 
So when I draw it, I will label here and then I'll call that part P. So I am supposed to look for X. So we're measuring off 9.9 .9 centimeters. I'll come to my ruler right there and I will measure off 9.9 .9 centimeters. So that is 9.9, .9. it is there. So I'll come here to my value of P right there and I measure off the nine centimeters. So it means I've measured from P to X. So I'll label this X. So that is my 9.9 .9 centimeters. I think you're seeing we are following our sketch. It's our sketch giving us what to do. So now the next thing to do now is to construct 75 degrees at this point, at point P. So we are going to construct 75 degrees at that point. So um, let me make this a bit longer. So to construct 75 degrees at that point, um, I, I assume that you are well versed with how we construct 75 degrees there. So I'm going to come, I'm going to first construct 90 degrees. Draw a compass needle there. Draw a compass needle, a com an arc right there. Then I'll elongate this a bit like that. Draw a compass, an arc there. Put it right there, draw an arc. Then I'll construct my 90 degrees. So after drawing my 90 degrees, remember I'm trying to construct 75. So I am going to have to first construct also, and uh, this is 90, so I'm going to construct also 60 degrees. So again, I'll construct here 60 degrees. Like that. So this is 60 degrees. So this is 60 degrees like that so what I know is that when I move when I measure from here up to there that is 60 then from 60 plus 30 it makes it 90 so in between from here to right there is 30 degrees so this 30 degrees if I bisect it or if I divide it into two I will be splitting this angle into two into 15 degrees 15 degrees so that this is 60 plus 15 to make the 75 degrees that I want to construct. So I am bisecting this 30 degrees. So I'll put my compass needle there. I'll do this right there and like that. Then I'll put a compass needle there. I can adjust this length if I want to. Then I'll draw an arc right there. I put right there. I draw another arc right there. Then I'll construct a line that is going through where those two arcs intersect from there and down here like that. So it means that from here up to that point is 75 degrees. That is the 60 plus the 15. Okay, so that is um, the line. So according back to our sketch, this is um, um, P X is 9.9, .9, which we have done here. Then the 75 degrees, we have constructed it. Then there is point Q up here. We do not know where Q is, but we know it's along that line, so we can leave it open. Then we know that from X to that point Q is 10.2 centimeters. So from X, I'm going to measure 10.2 centimeters from X so that I'm able to locate point Q. So I'll again get to my ruler and look, uh, measure off 10.2 centimeters. So I'll come here and measure 10.2 centimeters. That right there is 10.1.2. Ten point two centimeters. And then I'll come put my compass point there and then I'll draw an arc like that. So when I draw an arc like that and then that is 10.2, it means that um, if I draw a line from here 
up to where that arc meets that is actually 10.2 so this is x so we have located point q point q right there and this is 10.2 centimeters aha uh -huh. so um remember we have been told that the line pq is parallel to xy so it means that if this is line pq this line is supposed to be parallel to another line here called xy my interest is that i would like to make to draw another line that this line pq is supposed to be another line here that is parallel to that one so what i'll do i will bring two rulers can come here and say i can see this one is like that right there so this is line this is pq right this right there is line pq so if this is line pq along that edge is line pq so i'm going to slide it this is a parallel line yeah i'm going to slide this because i am interested in getting this line the way it is i come i slide it right there and then i'll draw it again here PQ, so I'm going to slide this ruler up to right there. Remember, parallel lines are supposed to be having an equal distance from each other. Then I'll draw that. So I have drawn that, so it means that this line PQ is parallel to that line. And uh, that is, according to the sketch, it is X, that is right there, X. So it's supposed to be part of line x y we're supposed to locate point y along this we do not know where point y is let me make this a bit longer yeah so we have finished drawing pq which is that line pq is this parallel to x y x is right there we locate point y so back from our sketch for, for me to move from q to get to y it is 10.4 centimeters so from point q i'll measure off 10.4 centimeters and i'll be able to locate point y so uh, again i'll get back to my ruler measure off the 10.4 centimeters so i'll come right here and measure off 10.4 centimeters right there and then i'll get that length put here on point q and measure off like that so point y has been located that is point y and then we shall draw our line connecting the two from here to right there and this is 10.4 centimeters it's important that you keep labeling those things the points and the lengths so yeah we have constructed this this is the sketch this is the actual diagram we have used the sketch to help us construct the actual diagram and we are done with the actual diagram that is quadrilateral a four-sided figure quadrilateral p x y q now that we have finished constructing it now let's go on and can throw away the sketch in most examination situations the sketch earns you a mark if you do not draw the sketch you don't you miss out on that mark so yeah that's the actual diagram now let's go ahead and start answering the questions So the first question says that construct a, a Roman one, a locus of points L1 of points equidistant from X and Y. So we have point X here and point Y here. If they want us to find a locus of points that are equidistant from X and Y, they are indirectly telling us to bisect line XY because the locus of points that are equidistant from these two points is the line that is in between. And that line is in, in between these two points is just the same as saying you're bisecting this line. So that's what we're going to do. Bisect XY. Um, let me put my compass needle there. I'll stretch my compass until it is just slightly beyond the middle of that line. And then just slightly beyond the midpoint. Then I'll draw an arc up there. And I'll draw an arc down here without changing the uh, my compass i'll do the same and then i'll draw the two arcs up right there 
and down here. So then I'll draw the line that is bisecting those two. I'll connect that arc to that arc. I like to make my lines quite long so that I draw it at once. Connecting this to that and that's it. So that is the line, the locus of points that are equidistant from point X and point Y. Okay, so let's go on and um, go on to the next point of the question. Uh -huh, locus L2, oh, this is locus L1 according to the question. They are calling it locus L1. So I'll call this L1. It's important that you label the stuff you have done. This is L1. Then let's go on to Roman 2. They want a locus L2 of points equidistant from QY. So we have QY, that's the line QY up there. QY and YX and YX. So we have this line QY and YX. They want a locus of points that is equidistant from this line and that line. So if we have, if we are to get a point or a locus of points that is equidistant from QY, and yx it means that we're supposed to draw a line in between there that is the locus of points that is going to be the same distance from this and that and in other words here they are indirectly telling us to bisect the angle that lies between these two lines the angle lying between qy which is qy and then yz which so happens to be here yz this is the angle in between so the locus of points that is equidistant from this line and that line is the angle, it's the line bisecting that angle. So in other words, we are going to bisect this angle. So that's exactly what we are going to do. So we shall go ahead and bisect the angle. I put my compass needle right there. Draw an arc right there. Draw an arc right there. Then I'll shift my compass, put on one of the arcs. I can elongate this a bit into a place that is convenient. Draw an arc right there, get this, put it right there, draw an arc, the two arcs intersect at that point, then I'll get my ruler and connect, and they draw up to there, so I'll get my point and like that, then I'll draw. So that's the line where they intersect. This is my locus of points L2. According to my question, they are saying that locus L2 of points equidistant from QY and YZ, I mean, and YX, that is the locus of points. Then part, um, then points, they are saying, locate M, the point of intersection of L1 and L2. Of course, here, this is L1 right here. That's L2. And the point where these two meet is right there, and that is our point M. And that is what they want, they told us. So we have finished with that question, and this is the actual diagram for that, the actual answer for that question. Let's go on to the next one. We have another question here that shows that says that um, using a pair of compasses and a ruler, or using a ruler and a pair of compasses, only construct a, tri a triangle PQR such that PQ is 8 centimeters and PR is 7 centimeters and angle QPR is 105 degrees. So let's get to the sketch. First of all, this is a triangle, so it's a three sided thing. So here is how our sketch is going to look like. So the question says that using a ruler and a pair of compasses only construct a triangle PQR. So it is P Q R such that PQ is eight centimeters. So from P to Q is eight centimeters. PR is seven centimeters. PR is seven centimeters. Then angle QPR is 105 degrees. Q, P, R, this angle is 105 degrees. So I've drawn my line. I label my point P. Let me call this point P. I measure off the 8 centimeters right here to find point Q. 
So I'll bring my ruler here and I'll, from point zero, I'll measure off eight centimeters to that point. And then I will measure off from P to Q. So this is point Q. And that is eight centimeters right there. So, uh -huh. so at point P, it's 105 degrees. So I'm supposed to construct 105 degrees here. But um, 105 degrees, if you're to say 180 minus 105, you'll realize that um, if this is uh, 105, this other part is 75 degrees. Now, using a pencil, a, 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 a compass, and uh, a ruler only, we can construct 75. Um, when we construct 75 here, the other part is 105. So that's how we're going to construct 105 degrees by constructing 75. Because 75, plus 75 degrees plus 105 degrees is going to give us 180. Now, um, I know that 105 is bigger than 75. And when you look at the sketch, it looks like the 75 degrees is on a big portion, while 105 is on a small portion. But this is just a sketch. It is not an accurate diagram. So even if your figures look like that, it is still fine. This is just a sketch. The true reflection of the sizes of these angles is supposed to be reflected on the actual diagram. So we are going to construct 75 degrees at this point, And indirectly, we will be constructing 105 degrees as angle R. P, Q. So this is what we're going to do right here. Let me make this a bit longer still. So I'm going to construct 75 here, but the 75 from here. So this, I'll put my compass point there. Um, first going to construct, um, let me construct 90 first. Compass, um, compass point there. Compass point there. I'll stretch my compass, put my compass needle there, draw an arc, put a compass needle right there, draw another arc, and then I'll come with my ruler and draw a line connecting point P to where the arcs intersect, like that. Then I'll go ahead and construct 60 degrees at that point. So I'll put my compass point there and I'll construct a long arc like that. Then I'll put a compass point there without changing its its elongation or its length. Then I'll put a point there. Then I'll construct a line. I'll draw a line connecting where they, those two intersect from here up to there. Where the two intersect. I'll draw a line. Of course, I keep these ones dotted because this is not what I want. I'll keep the ones connecting to the center dotted. This is 60 degrees, but I want 75. So uh, the line I'm going to draw in between here, the bold line that is going to connect up to the very point because it's the one I'm interested in. Remember, this is from here to here is 60. From here to there is 30. If I bisect that 30 degrees, it means that it will be 60 plus the 15 to make it to 75. So I bisect this angle. I put my compass point there. I draw an arc there and an arc there. Then I'll cut this one. I can adjust this to a convenient place. I put an arc there. I maintain its length. I put the point there and I draw another arc where the two arcs meet i draw a bold line from the point p up to where the two lines meet right there yep and i draw that is so from here to there is 75 degrees so that consequently means that this other point point is 105 degrees so 105 degrees is the angle we have drawn at our point P. So to continue with the question, we need to locate point R. And according to our question, it say our sketch, that is, according to our sketch, it says that to locate point R, we are going to simply measure 7 centimeters from point P to locate R. So I'll measure 7 centimeters from point P to be able to locate where R is. Again, I'll get my ruler. 
from 0 I'll stretch to where 7 centimeters are and then um, and then I will come here and put my compass point there and right there wow it is somewhere here so that is my point R and my point P to R is 7 centimeters it's important that you label so if this is my point R then I'm going to go ahead and draw my line from to connect according to our sketch our sketch says that you're supposed to connect R to Q so to connect R to Q I'm going to come here and do just that I connect R which is that to Q So this is RQ. So if you look at my sketch, I have replicated all the information on my sketch has been transferred to the actual drawing and I have the triangle P, Q, R. So I have finished converting this to the actual diagram. And now it is time to now answer the questions. So the first question is telling us that um, Roman 1, of course they are telling us we've finished Roman 1 which you've constructed using a ruler and a pair of compasses only. Roman to locus L1 of points equidistant from P and Q. So we have two points. We have point P, we have point Q, a locus of points that is equidistant from this P and Q. We bisect the line. The locus of points is definitely the line that is cutting P and Q into two equal parts. So we bisect that one. So to bisect that line, so I'll get my compass, put it right there. I will stretch my compass until it is just slightly beyond the center of line PQ. Draw an arc up there. Hey, draw an arc down here. Without changing the length of this compass, I'll come, pull point, put the, on point P, do the same. Draw an arc up there, draw an arc down there. Then I'll draw a line connecting the two. Through here to there so this is my locus of points the question says that locus L1 it's important that you label this is L1 so that is my locus of points equidistant from P and Q so I'll go ahead and find um, so Roman is saying locus L2 of points equidistant from Q and R so where is Q and R? I have Q right there, I have R right there. The locus of points that is equidistant between these two points is definitely the line that is going to bisect PR. So again, I'm going to bisect RQ to get the locus of points between Q and R. So again, I'll get my compass um, needle, put it right there. And then I make sure I stretch my compass until it is just slightly beyond the center of QR. When I do so, draw an arc on either side of this line. So I'll draw an, an arc up there and this way. Then I'll transfer my compass. I'll put my compass point there and I'm going to do the same. Draw an arc up there, draw an arc down here where these two arcs meet. You draw a line that is going to intersect. It's going to go be a locus of points equidistant from point R and point Q. So right there. So I'll, it's from here to there. And I draw that. So when I draw that, the two, the, I have finished Roman 2. They're saying the locus of points L2. So I'll label this locus L2. The line is called L2. So locus L2 of points equidistant from Q and R. Finished. So Roman 3, they are telling us that uh, uh, label the point T where L1 and L2 intersect. So this is line L1 and this is line L2. So where L1 and L2 are intersecting is what we are calling point T. Let me label it point T. It's right there. So um, that is T. Then they are saying that with center T, of course, where these two are intersecting, that's center T, and radius TQ. Um, so if this is my center T and radius TQ, construct a circle L3. So I'm following just this. It is this, my center is T and the radius is TQ. Right there, we draw a circle.
So I drew, I'm going to go ahead and draw that circle. Um, so that is. So that's it. We have drawn a circle with center T and radius TQ. In other words, when you look at these questions, uh, right from Roman 1 up to the very last question, um, these are just step-by-step -step guides on how to circumscribe a circle. This circle is circumscribed on triangle PQR. So in other words, this question would be as easy as saying, draw, um, draw a triangle PQR, and then they tell you to circumscribe a circle on this triangle PQR. Instead of giving you all these steps, these are steps on how to circumscribe a circle. So the alternative way to ask this is not to give guide you through steps, but they would just say, construct a triangle PQR with these dimensions and then circumscribe a circle. When you're circumscribing a circle, these are the steps you would take. So we have answered that question. Let's, well, let's do our very last one. So they're telling us here using a ruler and a pair of compasses only construct this triangle X, Y, Z such that this is equal to that and that is equal to that and whatever. So again, as usual, we'll begin with our sketch. So looking at this, I'm using a ruler and a pair of compasses only construct triangle X, Y, Z. So it's a three-sided thing. So it's a triangle X, Y, Z. Don't care about the, the shape of the triangle as long as it is a triangle. So they continues to search that x, y is 8 centimeters. So from x to y is 8 centimeters. And then angle y, x, z, angle y, x, z, that's the angle they're talking about, is the same as angle, angle z, y, x, z, y, x, which is this one. So it means that this angle is the same as that angle and the question continues to say that this angle is equal to that angle and both of them are equal to 45 degrees. So this is 45 degrees and this is also 45 degrees. As simple as that. So let's construct the triangle. Off to the actual diagram. So to construct the actual diagram, as usual, I'll begin with my line x, y. So I'll draw x, y right there, like that. Put, this is my point x. Remember, as I'm drawing my actual diagram, I have thrown out the question. I am following my sketch to draw the actual diagram. What my sketch tells me is what I do right here. So my sketch tells me that this is point x, so I'll draw point x. Then it is 8 centimeters, so I'm going to measure 8 centimeters, like my sketch tells me. So I'll get my ruler, measure of the 8 centimeters right there, and then I'll come and put my compass point there and label off the 8 centimeters. So 8 centimeters to point Y. That's my point Y. So the 8, this is 8 centimeters, so I'll come and label 8 centimeters. So now, um, for me to locate lo Z, I'm supposed to construct 45 degrees at point X, and I'm also supposed to construct 45 mm -hmm. degrees at point Y. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to construct uh, X, Y. Now, remember the question tells us using a pencil and a pair of compasses only, so you can't use a protractor to construct this 45 degrees. You have to only use a pencil and a pair of compasses. Of course, in the video, I'm using a pen because I want my work to be more visible to you that is watching, but please, the, when they say pencil, a pencil is not a pen. So in your exam, you're supposed to use a pencil. So uh -huh. I'll definitely go ahead and construct 45 degrees, and constructing 45 degrees is bisecting 90. So I am going to first construct 90 degrees, which I assume is the easiest to construct so i do my arcs there then i elongate this put my compass point there draw an arc put my compass point right there draw an arc after drawing that arc i draw my line to construct the 90 degrees from there to there i draw a line but it's not bold to the point because it's not 90 i want i draw the rest here dotted 
I am in this is now 90 degrees right there now I'm going to bisect 90 degrees so I'll put my compass point there elongate it to there I draw an arc there I draw an arc here put my compass point there elongate it draw an arc put a compass point there draw another arc then I will draw Ninety. Uh, this is forty-five now. So this is forty-five degrees. So I have, according to my sketch, I have finished constructing the forty-five degrees at point X. So I'm going to go and do the same to construct forty-five degrees at point Y. So I'll go ahead. Still with my compass, let me make this a bit longer. <laughs> So I will get my um, first construct 90 degrees, compass point there, get this right here, draw a, uh, an arc there, then put my compass needle there, I elongate this a bit, draw an arc right there, put my compass point right there, draw another arc, construct the 90 degree line like that so go ahead and bisect this angle of 90 draw an arc right there draw an arc right there put a compass needle there I can elongate this to a convenient place I can draw an arc right there I do the same here I draw an arc then I am able to draw a line that connects these points where they intersect, where those two points intersect to right there. So this is also 45 degrees. So where these two lines meet according to our sketch is point Z right here. So this is point Z. We have finished constructing triangle X, Y, Z. So let's get back to the question. So according to this question, they're telling us to locate a point P inside the triangle equidistant from point X, Y, and X, Z. So we have X, Y, and X, Z. So X, Y, X, Z, the locus of points that is equidistant from this and that, from this point, from this line to that, is the locus, it's the line that is bisecting this angle in between the angle in between x z and x y because the question is telling us a to find a point that is equidistant so we are going to first get a locus of points before we I we look we arrive at the point so x y and y z x y and 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 i mean x z so x y and x z we are going to it's this the angle in between those two lines is this one so we are going to bisect this angle then also the question continues to say uh, that it's also that point we're looking for is also supposed to be equidistant from YZ. This is YZ. I mean YZ is right there. YZ and YX. So we have YX and YZ. So also we are going to draw a locus of points that is equidistant from YX and YZ. So it means we're also going to bisect this angle right there. And now when we bisect this angle and we bisect that angle and we draw the locus of points, where those two locus of points that are equidistant from those sides meet is the location, the point P they are talking about. So let's get to it. So first of all, we are going to draw a locus of points that is equidistant from X, Y and X, Z. So X, Y and X, Z, we are going to bisect this so I'll put my compass needle here, draw an arc right there, draw an arc right here, I'll put a compass point there, draw an arc there, put it right there, draw another arc, and so I bisect that angle like that. So I'm going to do the same here. 
um, y x and y z we have y x here and y z right there this angle is also going to be bisected so that we get a locus of points that is equidistant from this line and that line so again we are going to bisect this angle still the same procedures I'll put my compass point there draw an arc here draw an arc there put my compass point there stretch it a bit to a convenient place draw an arc there put my point there draw an arc and then I will draw where this meets and that so I will do this like that so where those two meet is the point we are talking about here that locate a point P inside the triangle locate a point P inside the triangle equidistant from X Y and X Z and also equidistant from Y X and Y Z so that point P is that one let me call that point P so we have done Roman 2. So Roman 3 is telling us that construct a circle touching the three sides of the triangle. So in other words, they're telling us to inscribe a circle in this triangle. So of course, this is going to be our line, our center, and then uh, we are going to draw the circle touching the three sides. So I've, I'm, I'm trying to draw the circle. Well, that is our point P, and I'm doing the circle. My compass is a bit loose, so my circle is having multiple. Um, I've, I've done some kind of dirty work, I should say. But well, of course, when you're doing these kinds of numbers, you're supposed to make sure that your compass is a bit. Uh, it is. It is. It is well fixed. It is not loose like mine. Mine is. I think I need to, to fix that. So anyway, away from that. So we'll make sure that your compass, when you're doing these kinds of numbers of construction, that your the bolt and nut of your of your compass is uh, it should be tightened, so that the, when you set a length, it does not easily change as you're constructing. That's the challenge I was finding here. Otherwise, uh, when you do that, it ensure and plus a very sharp pencil, it ensures that you. Um, you're able to do very accurate work and now when it comes to things such as inscribing and circumscribing if you've been drawing your angles and your sides very accurately you will by the time you reach this step where you're supposed to draw this circle inside the triangle the circle you'll draw it and it will touch all the three sides of the triangle exactly but if you've been a bit careless with the way you've been drawing your angles or your distances and maybe your compass was loose and some distances were not measured accurately, when it comes to drawing the circle that is supposed to be touching the three sides, you'll find that uh, the circle might touch some sides and on the other sides it might not be able to touch. So that is definitely something that you need to be looking out of whenever you are dealing with um, numbers of geometrical construction it's very important that your compass bolt and nut are tight they are not loose and also it's important that you are using a pencil that is very sharp so we have done the three numbers and this brings us to the end of this video thanks for watching my name is Arnold Rangakoranya if you like this video give it a thumbs up and definitely I encourage you to check out other awesome YouTube videos on this channel and as always guys thanks you very much for watching I'll catch you in the next video.